Hi, this is Nathan from Air Recognition. Welcome in France for a new edition of the Paris Air Show. And today the fly display was the occasion to discover some new platforms such as the US-made F-35 and behind me the KC-390 coming from Brazil. The first platform was an Airbus helicopter Tiger HED from the French Army's 1st Combat Helicopter Regiment. The Tiger is a four-bladed twin-engine attack helicopter which first entered service in 2003. It is actually in service with France, Germany, Australia and Spain. The next one is the Ukush, a turboprop aircraft being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries as a nuke basic trainer and ground attack aircraft for the Turkish Armed Forces. The Armed Variant, or Ukush-C, made its first public appearance last month in Istanbul during IDEF exhibition. Next one is a search and rescue variant of the Dornier turboprop airliner. It was bought by the Australian Maritime Safety Authority. The 328 allows easy operation even from the shortest runways. It can handle a variety of surfaces, including grace and gravel or even sand. And it is equally unafraid of hot and high conditions. The well-known Rafale is a twin-engine multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Introduced in 2001, the Rafale is being produced for both the French Air Force and for the carrier base operation in the French Navy. It has been selected for purchase by the Indian Air Force, the Egyptian Air Force and the Qatar Air Force.
And the next one is the Airbus A400M Atlas, which is a four-engine turboprop military airlifter. This flying A400M is Grizzly One, one of the five prototypes and development aircraft. As of now, the A400M has been ordered by seven European countries and Malaysia. The 400M maiden flight took place on December 2009 from Sevilla, Spain. And for the first time in a European airshow, here is the US-made F-35 fighter jet. The F-35 is a fifth generation single engine combat aircraft designed by Lockheed Martin to perform a wide range of missions. Embraer KC390 is a medium-sized twin-engine jet-powered military transport aircraft. It can carry up to 80 passengers or up to three light tactical vehicles. Portugal last week announced its intention to buy at least five units. Since 2010, Portugal, along with Brazil, is one of the main partners involved in the KC390 development program, which also includes Czech Republic and Argentina. So the Ukraine-made Antonov AN-132D is a new turboprop military transport aircraft. It differs from its predecessor, the AN-32 aircraft, with a higher level of technical, economic and flight performance data, such as lifting capacity increased by 23%, flight range nearly two times longer, while carrying six tons of cargo. The AN-132D multiple military aircraft successfully completed its maiden flight on March 31. And the last one is another Airbus platform in the sky. Here is one NH-90 Cayman from the French Army Light Aviation. The NH-90 is a medium-sized twin-engine multi military helicopter. The first prototype conducted its maiden flight in December 1995. The type first entered operational service in 2007. It is actually operated by 13 countries. 